Hello, Uncle. And this is the right one. Close it all. Let's wait a few minutes to get everyone here. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all good. Hello, Ahmed, Jay Boy, Sarah, Sarah, Ahmed. How are we all doing? Good. Good morning. My day has been good so far. Had porridge for my breakfast. With some fruits, healthy breakfast. When you're at home, you can uh, spend time having breakfast on a usual day. I put milk in my uh, milk in the uh, wheat bix and I just drink it because I don't have time to eat in the morning when I have school. Okay, and today's lesson is going to be on percentage increase and decrease and reverse percentage. So that will be the last lesson of uh, percentage. So we can uh, just get this set up, guys. Bear with me. Okay. So while we're waiting, just have a quick go at those, uh, this question. So start a question and I'll be able to receive your message now because I've got it all here. Okay, so that's it. You can see Stratford High Year 7, Hybrid Flip. Uh, Bridge magnet, thank you very much. We'll try our best to help people. Then we have Hello Akta Shayan. Thank you very much. Unsigned a music artist. Thank you for joining us. You're never too old to learn maths. I'm over 30. I'm still learning maths and teaching maths at the same time. I can see unsigned music artists. You've got some nice videos there. So guys, I would suggest go and uh, have a check it out. <clears throat> uh, so today's plan is to go through percentage increase and decrease, and then uh, go on to percentage, reverse percentage, and then we're going to have a go at some Kahoot game. Okay. Yesterday was good actually, once we set the uh, dual to spot, stop the bots. 
Okay, and I'm hoping we'll have no bots today because it ruins the game. Uh, what group? So, monster, uh, group, this could benefit anyone who's in uh, year six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These help all the way to GCSE. The reverse percentage is with mainly going to be for year nine, ten, eleven. Then again, percentage is a general topic in maths and uh, any any year group actually can help over there mainly high school students <laughs> okay medina saying dual login doesn't work for most of us well i'll try and do the normal login and let's see if it works because of the lag on the uh, actual um, because of the lag on the uh, internet, YouTube. Well, anyway, let's get started. So able to answer practical problems such as those involving VAT or sale prices. So VAT means value added tax, the tax that you pay when you purchase a product. Be able to use multiplier. We don't know what multipliers are. We had to go at some uh, multipliers yesterday and be able to increase or decrease quantity by given percentage my pen okay i don't know where the pen is oh there you are okay now i hope you had to go at these questions so 100 percent was 40 10 percent is four and then 19 percent is 7.6 sarah 19% is 7.6. Quickly double check my answer with the multiplier. So 0 0.19 times by 40. And that gives us an answer of 7.6. Well done, Sarah. It is the right answer. 7.6. 10.5% um, is 4.2. 4.2. And 5% is 2, 5% is 2, 10% is 4, so 5% is half of 4, which is 2, yes, exactly, well done. 50% is 20, 50% is 20, and then we have 134%, Ahmed is saying 53.6, and it does look right because 100%, it will be more than the amount that you've been given. It cannot be less than the actual amount. So it's more, so therefore it looks about right. If it was less than 40, and then you'll have to check your answer. Okay. And then we have 1.34 times by 40. Akkar is saying it's 53.6. Yes, it is 1.34 times by 40. Now, you will notice that to find 134%, the multiplier has changed to 1.34. It's gone over the 1 because it's an increase on the actual amount. Because we know 100% is 40, so 1.34, how do we get 1.34 again? So 134 divided by 100, and that gives us the multiplier 1.34. And if you multiply 40, by 1.34 is going to give us a bigger answer than 40 because 40 times 1 is 40 and the 0 0.34 is extra we're increasing it by how much 34 percent and that's how we can find the multiplier for percentage increase of an amount so that gives us 53.4 okay now 85 percent we can find the multiplier 0 0.85 times by 40, and that gives us 34. And it's less than 100%, therefore we know it's, the answer is going to be less than 40. And 35% is going to be 0.35 times by 40, gives us 14. Okay, so this is a quick basic uh, recap on percentage of amounts using multiplier. For Keep an eye on the 134%. We increased it by, in other words, 34%. Okay. Now, I asked you to increase 40 by 13%. How would you go about working this out? So if I was to increase 
40 by 13%, how would you increase it? What is a calculation? Write down your one calculation with the multiplier on the chat section, please, now. So 13%. Thank you, Medina, putting the rules right. Okay, uh, so the question is, write down the calculation for uh, increasing by 13%. So, Gushi, well done, 40 times, uh, okay, 40 times 0 0.13. Now have a think about, if you times it by 0 0.13, I will get 13% of 40, but I want to increase 40 by 13%. If I want to increase it, that means if you times 40 by 0 0.13, it gives you an answer of 5.2. Now, which is less than 40, but if you increase something, if you increase 40 by 13%, it should give you an answer bigger than um, uh, 40. So that means we need to add that 40 to 5.2. So if I add 40 to 5.2, which is 5.2, oops, that gives us 45.2, which is increased. But if I was to write down a calculation in my calculator, what do I need to do? So I should. Uh, Dada boy, okay. Now, uh, just before we carry on any further, I can just a quick shout out to Miss uh, Dada boy who just joined us today. Uh, she contacted me yesterday and uh, she said her students uh, will be watching today. So, if anyone from Eden uh, High Girls School, shout out to you guys. And uh, Miss has got a, a Instagram page which is the Baker Artist. So do check it out, guys. I'll put the link uh, after the session on the description. Okay. Thank you, Miss, for your comment. It is 40 times 1.13. And so hamster times by 1.13. Yes, times by 1.13. So we have to do 40 times by 1.13. And that gives us 40.45.2. Two. So 40 times 1.13, just check my numbers, 45.2, 45.2. Okay, now, increase 40 by 30%. Now let's have a go at this question, decrease 70 by 6%. Now when it comes to decrease, we know it's going to be less than the actual amount. Okay, now decrease by 6%. Now the whole thing, the whole amount is always 100%. Okay, now if you decrease something, it's going to be less than 100%. So you've got a less than 100%. So therefore, if I decrease something by 6%, I had 100%, I'm dec decreasing it by 6%, and I'm left with just 94%. So that's my new multiplier. Now, Gushi, I can already see you returned 70 times 0 0.94. Well done. Um, so hamster, yeah, well done. Yeah, and at 70 times 0 0.96, 67.2. So we need to multiply 70 by 0 0.94. Thank you, actor. And that will give us an answer of 65.8. And I think some of you already got 65.8. 67.2. Let me just double check. 0 0.96, 0 0.94. Just double check that one because you're taking away six from 100. So that gives an answer of 65.8. And that's the answer for this question here. So we understand what is percentage increase, what is percentage decrease. So when you increase it, we add to 100% and divide by 100 to find the multiplier. Sometimes you can work it out in your head. And if you decrease by a percentage, you take away from 100 and then Divide by 100 to find the multiplier and then times the actual amount. Okay, there's four questions for you to try. So two on increase and two on decrease. Once you found them, can you write down your answer? Whoops, almost went to the answer. Can you write down your answer for all four questions? So let's say this is A. 
this is B, this is C, and this is D. Can you write down your answers in with number with letters A, B, C, and D? Okay, I'll just have a look at the uh, chat. Let's see what people are saying. Tasty Turk saying, I don't like spiders. I love spiders. Spiders are good. You're good to have spiders in your house that eat all the other insects. Yes, they are creepy, yes. So A, I've got an answer from Ahmed, 62 pounds and 40 pence. A is 62 pound 40. Remember, uh, money needs to be written in two decimal places. Aisha, Miss Aisha, Dadabar, yes, 60 times 1.04. I can see the calculation there, so increasing by 1.04. Yes, 60 by 40. That's why I like to see the calculations as well. So we understand how we get in the answer rather than <coughs> writing the answer because in your exam, you get marks for writing the working out. If the, this question is worth two marks, you get one mark for writing your calculation and one mark for the answer. And I can see... The beats 12.45, just don't tell because we're increasing. I know what you did, you just found 4%, didn't you? So be careful there, we're increasing. The word keyword is increase. Okay, uh, Debaser, 57.60, we're increasing, so we need to add it on, Debaser. Okay, so double check that A. Okay, so the first answer is 62 pounds and 40 pence. So well done everyone for trying. So the thing that we learned from this answer is some people are writing uh, less than 60, which you are taking away, or you, some people are writing 12 pounds something, which is you're just finding uh, just the 4%. So you need to increase, we need to add it on. Okay, just be careful there. Uh, question B, we have... 10.60, 10 pounds 60. Uh, yes. Okay, the second one is 9 pounds 40. Now, because we're decreasing that one, question B was decrease. Okay, so we had to take away. So the calculation for this one is going to be, uh, because we decreased by 6%, 6 it's going to be 0.94 times by 10, and that gives you 9 pound 40. You can do this actually in your head, times it by 10. Okay, decrease 236 grams by 10%. Um, I can see actors got the working out there. Uh, 212, decrease, is it 212? Uh, Kinso, you think it's 259.6. Have a think about we're decreasing it. So it's going to be less than 236. Stuyus is saying 212, Link saying 23.6. Let's have a look what the answer is. 212.4 grams. So Ahmed, got that one right. Yusuf, Mohamed, I think you rounded it. Don't round it unless the question tells you to round it. I should add, well, yes, 212.4, well done. Yes, it will be for useful high school. Never too young to do to some mass, exactly. Okay, and the final one, increase 12 kilograms by 8%. Remember, your answer has to be more than 12 kilograms. You can possibly do this in your head. 8% of 12 is 0 0.96, and how do I do this in my head? 8 times 12 is 96. If you don't know your 12 times tables, I would suggest you learn it and then you add it on. Okay, uh, Jamboid asking me to uh, go over multipliers uh, quickly. Uh, multiplier, so let's lose this question uh, over here. A multiplier is a one number that you multiply your amount by. For example, uh, I'll use a very easy question, easy example. Let's say, for example, I want to find 10% of uh, 25. 
Okay, so 10% of 25. So the multiplier of 10% will be, I need to divide 10 by 100, which gives me 0 0.1. This 0 0.1 is the multiplier. So now what I need to do is 0 0.1 times by 25, and that will give me the answer. So you can use your calculator to find this out. I know you can do this in your head. So it gives us 2.5, and that's the multiplier. Now, if I use this multiplier, this question here, increasing it so multiplier will be because i'm increasing multiplier will be 100 add 8 which is 108 percent and divide that by 100 which is 1.08 now multiply 1.08 by 12 and that will give you an answer of 12.96 kilograms i hope this helps to understand okay this video will be available later on uh, on my channel, so do check it out, please. Okay, so that's how we find a multiplier. Now, let's quickly go through that one. Now, uh, I think we understand these, so we're just going to move on to some of the questions that you can try by yourself. Now, what is a multiplier? What multiplier used to increase a quantity by 10%? So can you write down the answers? I'm going to circle them. Don't need to do all of them. Uh, from the green section, can you do these three? And then this one here. Then on the orange section, can you do these two and extension question these are worded questions can you have a go at these questions okay so quickly have a go at these questions so not many uh three four five six seven eight questions i'll put the answers on as soon as we're done with these So what are your PC specs? Uh, use a laptop, I think it's an i7 processor. Okay, uh, sound is saying A is 1.1, good. Zero point two. Squishy is saying C is 1.2. Yes, well done, 1.2. How about E? Silences play 75 pound by 20 is 90. Yes, increasing it. So not 1.20 times by 75. Uh, Asher that boy is saying 1.1. Yes, it is 1.1, 1.2, and 1.12. Well done. 10%. Okay. Bushy is saying 472. A is 472 grams. And uh, Cheyenne is saying A is 1.1. Yes, it is 1.1 because we're increasing. You're reading the uh, keywords correctly. SBB is saying 90. Which one is 90? Well, I'll put the answer in a minute. Which is A is 90. So increase 75 pound by 20%. Sounds like about 90, yes? Can you sing for us, Mr. Mahmood? No, I'm, not, I'm the worst person to sing. You don't want me to hear singing. You'll be scarred for life. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the questions. So these are the questions, uh, answers. So if most people have got these right. Okay, and on the orange section, it is 90, and B was 391. Okay, and the extension question, if you have a go at them, those are the answers. 
Okay, so that was the end of percentage increase and decrease. Now we're going to move on to uh, reverse percentage. Now this is slightly more higher, uh, more advanced topic because uh, with these ones do come up in a higher GCSE as well as foundation. Okay, so these are grade C2A or grade five and above. Okay, so to be able to calculate the original amount given the final amount. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. So let's, uh, the success criteria or what we need to know, able to demonstrate and explain different methods of calculating reverse percentage, be able to solve word problems and be able to calculate the original amount. Okay, so let's have a look. Start off with let's calculate the hundred percent of each of these amount. Fifty percent is three. What is hundred percent? First question. Can you answer them on your chat section, please? Fifty percent is three. What is hundred percent? Link six. Grishy six. Links. Well done. Well done, Grishy. Yes, it is six. Well done, we've got some more answer. Ryan's in, welcome Ryan. Links again, six. Thank you very much, we got your message, links. Ahmed. Uh, just a reminder, do not spam. Exactly, yes, please do not spam, uh, spam please. Ahmad, Harry, uh, Debaser. If you write your answer once, we can see it, everyone can see it. Obviously, I can read it. If you spam it, we, well, we won't be able to read it because it goes so fast, okay? Now, next one, 25% is four kilograms. What is 100%? 25% is four kilograms. What is 100%? So the next question is 25% is four kilograms. What is 100%? Uh, Frags six, Unknown Jaboy 16, Gushy 16, Ahmed 16, Hadza, yes, 16, it is 16, 16, and a lot of people think it's 16. So 25% is 4, so 4 times 25 is 100%. So we times 25% uh, by 4, that means we have to times 25, 4 kg kilograms with uh, 4, that gives us 16. So 100% is 16 okay next 20 percent is five centimeters what is 100 percent let's have a look 20 percent is five centimeters what is 100 percent 20 percent is five centimeters what is 100 percent 25, Fusion is saying 25, Silence has played 25, Asha Dadaboy 25, okay, Actor is in 25, yes, it is 25, well done, so we times 5, 20 by 5, which is 100, that means we have to times 5 by 5 as well, which is 25, 10% is 60 pence, what is 100%, next question. Oh, sorry, my, my big head was on the way. Sorry about that. I just realized that's what happened yesterday while we were playing Kahoot. By the way, Kahoot will start in about, let's say, 10 minutes or so. I did say 11.30, we'll take another 10 minutes. So 10 minutes. If you've got any friends and family who want to join in, please let them know. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button. There are 98 people in here right now. Yesterday we had about 40. It's doubled now. More than a double. So thank you for joining everyone. So can you hit that like button, please, if you're enjoying this video. And if you've got any friends and family who want to join with the Kahoot game, please let them know. Okay. Okay, thank you, Ahmed. 10% is 60 pence, so 100% is six, and I can see 
everyone six pounds or 600 pence. So if you're seeing 600, that means 600 pence. And if you're seeing six, that means possibly six pounds. Next question, 90% is 18 pounds. What is 100%? Now it is getting a bit difficult, isn't it? So we need to find an easier way to find these. So let's have a look what people get for this one. If 90% is 18 pounds, what is a 100%. If you use any abusive language, you will be kicked out of this chat. So please be mindful what language you use. Of course, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Taste is Turk. It's gone. Okay. So 90% is 18. So people are saying it's 20 pounds, 20 pounds. And it sounds about right, isn't it? It can't be a ridiculous amount, a big amount, uh, or it can, can't be less than 18 pounds because we're increasing it to 100%, 100%. Okay, now let's have a go at a question. A sale offers 10% of all prices. The sale price of the dress is 18 pounds. What was the original price of the dress? So the sale price is 18 pounds. I want to find out what the original price is. Now, when you come to an exam question, this is how the question usually looks like. They will give you a real life scenario of the question. Okay, so the sale price is 18 pounds. What is the original price of the dress? Okay, so people are saying um, 20 pounds already. It's a lovely dress, yes. Now this means 10% off, not 10% off. Okay, so we took out 10% off. Before the 10% off, the actual price was 100%. Okay, now unitary method is fairly simple and only requires three key steps. Now equate the final percentage to the final value. Use this to calculate the value of 1% and then multiply 100 to work out 100%, the original value. This will make some more sense when we try some question to use this method. Okay, so let's have a look. 10% off means that the sale price is 90%. So 90% is equivalent to 18 pounds. And 1% is equivalent to 20 pence because we divided both by 90. And 10% equivalent to 2. That means 100% is going to be 20 pence times by 100, which is 20 pounds. Because it was 10% off, the price has increased. The previous price was much uh, 2 pounds more than what it is now after the sale. Okay, let's have a go at another example. In a factory, 70 workers were given a pay rise. This was 20% of all the workers. How many workers are there all together? Okay, 20% represents 70 workers. 1% represents 70 divided by 20, 3.5. And all we have to do is times 3.5 by 100 to get to 350. Okay, and that's the answer for that one. Okay. Next, this means that there are 350 workers all together. Now, the price of a car is 6%, increased by 6% to 9,116. Work at the price before the increase. Okay, so 106% represents 9,116. What would the price be? Before, what was the price before the increase? So that's a question for you. What was the price before the increase? So 106 represents 9,116. What was the price before the increase? So let's have a look what answers do we have for this one. Okay, you will need a calculator for this one most likely because uh, it's quite difficult. So, but I'll show you the working out anyway. So 1% represents, just divide the amount by the new percentage and then times it by 100. And that's it, simple as that. So the key uh, method you take from here is, if it's increase, you add it to 100 and divide the amount by the new percentage and then times it by 100. If it's decreased, then Divide the amount, take away from 100, divide the new amount by the new percentage, and then times it by 100. And that's how we can work it out. So 8,600, okay, was the price. 
Okay, so the price before the increase was 8,600. Okay. So the answer for this question was, the one we started off with, 10% of means so multiplied by 0.9. So it'll be 18 pound divided by 0 0.9, which is 20 pounds. And that's the answer for this one. Okay, now one question before we move on to the uh, Kahoot. Now for this one, if you don't have a calculator, can you write down the calculation on your uh, chat section, please? So write down the calculation. So if in a sale, the price of a freezer reduced by 12%, the sale price is 220 pounds, what was the price before the sale? So all I wanted to do is write down the calculation that we need to do to find out the price of this freezer. So Gushi, we can see 220 uh, divided by, yes, times about 100. Okay, yes, well done. Yes, yeah, so because we got a decrease, reduced so therefore we can take away from 100 so if you take away from 100 is 88 and then times it by 220 so some of you already Gashan, you're saying the price is 248 pounds and 20 pence silence of place 1833 just be careful are you increasing or decreasing okay Okay. Okay, 248. 248, so let's look what the answer is. So 12% off uh, means multiplier is 0 0.88. Working backwards to find the original amount, divide the sale price by the multiplier. So 20 divided by 0 0.88, which is 250 pounds so that was the answer 250 pounds the answer this means the freezer was 250 pound before the sale okay and that's the answer now we'll stop here with the percentage a reverse percentage is 11 for almost 11.40 so we're going to just go ahead with the kahoot game okay who's ready for a kahoot just want to see some yeses are we all ready for a Kahoot game now? Okay, guys, can I just ask you to be respectful on the chat section, please? You can see some of you. Okay, I think that's more, that's more than enough yes to go ahead with the Kahoot game, okay? So let's go ahead with the Kahoot. Okay. It's not this one. Okay, so we are going to host it live. I'll try it without the two way two step join. Let's have a look how it goes. Hoping there will be no bots. Okay. There we go, guys. Let everyone know. I'll give you a few more minutes, a few minutes to join. Joe is in. Yusuf. Owen Powell is back. Ryan's in. Hello. more seconds. Get in there quick.
How do you come up with these names, guys? Out of my league. I like that name, Mahmood. This is not working, so we're going to do two steps. Sorry about that. Some people do not understand. Unfortunately, this will not work. So we're going to start with two step verification. Okay, so two step verification. You just have to bear with us because uh, it is a bit slow. And in that way, we can stop many of the bots. Okay. So you have to be very quick. Seven seconds, the shape shows four. And the change. Triangle, circles, square, diamond. Leave it for uh, two minutes so that everyone can get in because I know how frustrating it is. Once you're in, don't get out. What do you mean by the pattern? So there's a pattern there. So every seven seconds, this pattern changes. So within seven seconds, you have to write down, well, choose the pattern. Got 21 players so far. Ollie in the gushy infinite vegan again there from yesterday as well. Samir upstage. So let's have a look at what people are saying. We've got 29 people, guys. Not bad. We get in there. We have 62 people in the chat. Seven, you have to be very, very quick. Give you one more minute. Keep trying.
Okay, let's get started. You can still join. There's a code underneath. So, 10% of 145. You can still join, guys. There is the game pin underneath it, and the pattern is on the right hand side at the bottom. Okay, 32 people said 14.5. Let's have a look who's at the top. The fist again. There it is. The fist is again here. Okay, Grishy's at the second, and there we go. Next question. What is 15% of 60 pounds? Still join guys, if you're still trying, keep on trying, you can join. Nine pounds, 23 people said that answer. Okay, let's have a look, who's at the top? Meng, Bin Weevils at the second, fist on third now. Next. 1% or 32, this will be easy guys. You know what to do to find 1%. Divided by 100, full screen, okay, I'll do full screen. Is that better? Okay, brilliant. So 0 0.32, you have to divide it by 100. If you're still trying to get in, there's a code game pin at the top on left, and the pattern is changing every seven seconds. You can still join, guys. It's not too late. The question will get more and more difficult. Okay, next. Bin Weevils at the top. 38% of 150. Seven, 38 percent of 150 okay next question let's have a look who's on the top now owen powell has moved on to the second position is that the real owen powell or is it a fake one 85 percent of an amount is 51 get in trickier get in more trickier guys Okay, now 60 was the answer, and a lot of the people got the right answer. Well done. Let's have a look at the top. Owen Powell has moved on to the first position. Nippy nippy getting in there as well. Next question increase 20 by 25%. How's your self-isolation going, guys? What have you been up to? Well, 
Work, work, not good, and more work. Well, teachers are setting work like crazy nowadays. You've got worksheets, you've got online mass work. How many people are finding it difficult to do online work? Next, 35 answers already. Six more seconds. Okay, so 26 people says 35 pounds. Who's leading the board? Owen Powell still on stop. Ollie just moved into the second position. Next question. Jayboy, the online work is all right because I have a gaming laptop. Oh, your internet must be really good. Apparently, if you use a microwave while using the internet, it probably interferes with the signal. So do not use a microwave while you're trying to do your homework. Owen Powell, let me verify your channel first and I'll talk to you. Yes, our Owen Powell is on the chat. Yes, apparently there is someone, not one person. There's more than one person, people, a person in this chat, Kahoot, trying to be Owen Powell. How are you doing, Owen? Are you in the Kahoot? Oh, 20 people says 49. This question wasn't that easy, was it? Decreased 140 by 65%. So you have to take away 65 from 100, find the multiplier times by 140, guys. We just did this a bit ago. So Owen Powell has moved out of the, the league now. I'm good, Owen. How are you? Next question. I'm good. Thank you very much. Okay. How is your video? I've been watching your live, uh, some of the lives I've watched uh, you've done, some of them really good, yes. Keep up the good work and I've seen your subscriber count going up. By the way guys, if you haven't subscribed to Owen, don't forget to subscribe. He's making some really good videos recently. Simon got 18 out of 26 in his maths exam. What percentage did he get? If you're not sure, 18 divided by 26, and then what is percentage out of? Times by 100. New one coming out today. Always got a new video coming out today, guys. Don't forget to watch it. Are you going to give us some idea what the video is about? Mark doors, yes, go ahead. Okay, so 69%, that was the answer. We had to divide 18 by 26, then times by 100. So let's have a look. Nippy Nippy, still in the first position. Oli in second at the moment. So Sarah moved into the fourth. Percentage of 280 is 42. So think about what percentage is that going to be? What do we need to times it by to get to 42? Mark goes, go ahead. 17. People got 15. Well done. Okay. So Meng moved into second position. I sub to Owen. Thank you, Yusuf. Thank you, Medina, for giving permission. Don't take too long. You've got 10 seconds. When a student in class asks me to go to the toilet, I always ask them, rate your need out of 10. One being the least needed and 10 being the most needed. Thank you, Owen. No one's going to the toilet. No, not in during the math class. Streams lagging. It is lagging a bit, isn't it? Yes. 
Maybe because of my internet. Maybe someone using the microwave. You throw the microwave in the bin. Welfare Wi Fi lagging. Okay, 182 was the answer. Who's at the top now? Meng at the top. Ooh, 12,498 points. Brilliant. 320 pound phone is 20% in the sale. What is the new price? Got a fiber optic. Fiber optic. Is it lagging too much, guys? I don't see any answers that are coming in. Or is it the music? I don't see any answers coming through. Not sure what's going on. Laggy. Power man from Middlesbrough Northeast. Oh, I didn't see any answers, guys. I wonder what's going on. Uh, it's the same. Let's have a look. If it doesn't carry on, we probably have to quit this one. Well, why don't you answer them on the chat? Still hear me? Yes, go on, put answers in the chat. It's not I don't think it's I don't see any answers coming through here. I'm not sure why. 200? You know, what is the original price? So 200. So people think it's 200. Silence is placed 200. Phantom, delay. Uh, year all I one hundred and eighty. Uh, Will Chantry two hundred. Yusuf Mohammed two hundred. Sound base two hundred. Okay, what was the answer? It was two hundred. Well done, guys. Sean is saying one hundred twenty eight. The answer was two hundred. So we're going to go ahead with uh, putting the answers on the chat section, guys. Because I don't know what's happening with Kahoot. No one's answering on the actual thing. I'm not sure if it's working or not. It's out of sync. Okay, maybe that's why. But anyway, we can still put the answers on the chat section. Decrease an amount by 80% and the answer is 22. So, Ravier, you think it's 102, actor 110, not straightforward, is it? Actor 110, Peter 102, Nico Unwin 110, Silence of Plays 110. Okay. Ten more seconds. Oh, the answers are coming in now. Oh, answers are coming in. We've got 19 people already. Maybe it is lagging a lot. I need to look into my internet. This wasn't a very easy question, was it? So we have Kahoot on second place, Meng on still this first place. Ian's hourly rate was increased from five pound to five pound sixty. What was his percentage increase? I know stream delay. 
I think I know what happened. Instead of putting my Wi-Fi on the what's it called the uh, you know what the extender. I connected the Wi-Fi. That's what I realized just now. So hopefully tomorrow we'll get this one right. Okay. So tomorrow's plan is tomorrow will be the last lesson for the week. We'll have a break over the weekend, and some people have the Easter holiday uh, next week. So rather than doing a normal lesson, I will probably just do some kahoot, <laughs> and I'll make sure I ex I'll make sure I. Uh, Yes, yeah, sorry about that. I just realized I have connected to the uh, Wi-Fi router downstairs rather than the uh, extender, which is in the room. And that's why the Wi-Fi is giving me a bit of a trouble. OK, but anyway, that's the last question. Like I said, the plan for next week is going to be just Kahoot uh, because of Easter holiday. Yes, I am talking a little bit. Put the volume down. So like I said, plan for next week from Monday, we'll just do Kahoot. I'll confirm the time on my channel, so keep an eye on the post and the stories. That was the end. Now, I know we're unfortunate that we have some lagging there. Uh, Abdullah Akhtar, number three. Kahoot, and number two. And uh, number one, we have Mem. So well done, Mem. We've got a winner, guys. Okay. Well done. Okay, now this will be the end of today's KU session, guys. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I'd love to play another one, but due to the uh, internet problems, we need to give it a well, we need to stop here now. Uh, now, plan for next week is going to be uh, to on Monday, we'll just play Kahoot. I'll confirm the time. It won't be at 11 uh, a.m. Uh, normal time because uh, it's Easter holiday for quite a lot of us. So rather than doing normal lesson, uh, shall we do a Kahoot? So the question is, from Monday, shall we just do Kahoot? Or will we take a rest? Tomorrow is, yes, tomorrow is the last lesson, yes. Tomorrow, Friday, we'll do one more lesson tomorrow. So tomorrow will be our last lesson, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, we'll have a break. And then next week, from next week, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll have a Kahoot okay, session, half an hour Kahoot session, Monday to Friday, to keep people busy. Carl is asking for, please link some question papers. I can possibly look at some exam style questions. Need a Mac Discord server, Discord server. Possibly, yeah. Yes, because of my internet. Um, because I connected to the Wi-Fi router downstairs, rather than connecting to the extender, the Wi-Fi extender in the room, that's why we are having a bit of a problem. Okay, so I need to make sure it's connected to the um, Wi-Fi extender in the room rather than that. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining. And 
what I'll do is I'll post a um, Kahoot challenge on my YouTube post uh, with the link. So rather than doing a um, Kahoot live session over the weekend, I post a challenge. But well, tomorrow we'll do a session anyway. And I'll announce the winner on Monday. Okay, I'll try and make it as difficult as possible. Maybe. Okay. Now, thank you guys for joining. Don't forget to hit that like button if you are here still. And I'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. for the one last time for this week. And take care, everyone. Stay in, stay safe. Look after yourselves. And thank you again. Bye-bye.